Hey, this is Chris Sietzema from teach to fish Digital. This is one video in a series in which we explore ways we can improve upon our website measurement process with Google Tag Manager. In this particular video, we're going to be talking through how to detect uh, 404 errors or uh, how, to, how to create an, a custom event in analytics when someone accesses an error page or a page in which they're receiving an error message, okay? Now, it's an important thing to note that uh, no one is immune to 404 errors. Uh, every site's going to have some, uh, for better or worse. But it is important to kind of measure and track when those occur so we can fix any problems that we're seeing. So we're going to create some tags that essentially listen for error clues or clues that are specific to error pages and create events and tack on additional information about those errors, such as what the URL was for that error, um, what the referring page was for that, for that error visit, Etc. So let's jump in now to Tag Manager so you can see what that looks like. Here's the kind of opening screen or the workspace for Tag Manager. To help us along in, the, in this process, I'm going to turn on the preview and debug mode. This will allow us to identify really specific variables that are unique to error pages to help us create uh, our tags the appropriate way. Now, when we create these tags, I'll do so for this test site here. Uh, but it's important to note that your uh, the, the way you create your tags might be a little bit different, so pay close attention to how I do it, and I'll kind of call out where it might be unique to you, okay? So if we want to get to an error page, I'm just going to type in a random URL here, or a random page name. So here we are. We're going to go to an error page now. You'll notice immediately that there are some tags that fire. We've got an AdWords remarketing script, some analytics tags, etc. cetera. Um, there's a couple of things that are unique to every error page. So you might find that your page headline, like that says error 404, or oops, you've you found a page that no longer exists, or whatever the headline says, that might be your unique identifier. Uh, for this, what we're going to use is I'm going to use the page title. So I can see right up here, it says page not found. That's my page title. So what I want to do is create a variable in Google Tag Manager that's that looks for the page title. And when that page title is page not found, I want to fire an event that says, hey, we had an error. It's a 404 error. Track this in analytics so we can figure out where it occurred and how to fix it. So, But just to make sure that we don't have this in there already, I'm going to go into variables, look at our page view, and just make sure we don't already have a page title in here already. I don't see one. So what we're going to do is let's create one. Okay, And this is uh, going to be specific to you. You might choose to create a variable for the headline or the page title. Like I said, I'm going to start by creating a variable for the page title. So I'm going to jump into variables. Um, there are some variables you can kind of select or pick and choose from or configure. You can also create your own variables. And we're going to do that down below here. So I'm going to create a new user defined variable. And we're going to call this variable page title. And the type of variable that we want to select is going to be this is kind of custom here is going to be JavaScript variable. Okay. And the way that we're going to do this is this is this is uh, something you want to pay attention to. The, the variable uh, for page title, if it's JavaScript, is uh, document dot title. Okay. And if we save that and let's hit refresh on our preview and debug mode, and that should help us. And I've hit, if I hit refresh here on this page not found, this error page, now when I go back into variables, I should be able to see that I have a page title. There it is right there. And the page title is page not found. So that matches up with what we've got up here in the page title. So now that I know that variable is pulling through, and that's the custom value for that particular variable in this instance. Okay, so now I've got that variable set up. Let's create a tag. So the first tag I'm going to create here to track error pages is going to be called, let's just call it, since it's an analytics type tag, we'll call it analytics. The naming convention on these is kind of important, especially if you've got a lot of tags. We'll call it 404 error. And this type of tag, once again, it's a universal analytics tag. I'm going to pull in my tracking ID. Now, you might want to just plug in your tracking ID, also known as your UA code. Now, I created a, a constant variable for this. It's just going to pull that in for me automatically. Um, but your UA code will go right here. You can also create a constant variable there, just like I did. 
the type is event. So I'm going to go event, and then I'm just going to kind of label these as I choose here. So we'll call it 404 as a category. Event's going to be, it's called action. I'm sorry, the error is the action. And for label, we'll say it's a 404 error. Now, because I want to pull in some additional data, such as what the URL might be, um, what the refer is, you can see there's some other variables in here. So the page path right here is this random collection of letters I just pushed in there to, to create an error page. And also um, refer. Well, I might pull in refer. It doesn't show anything there, but what that's essentially going to do is show me what the previous page was. And so if I have a previous page and I get an error, I know that there might be a, an error link or a broken link on that previous page. And so that's going to be important too. So why don't I pull those two things in here too so you can pull in custom variables in here as well. We wanted to pull in page path so we can figure out where that error is occurring. And we're also going to pull in refer. And the refer data is only going to show if you do have an actual refer. Like if someone clicked over from one page to the, to the error page, you can identify where that broken link is, fix it, and you have less errors going on. Okay. So now we've got our tag all set up, but we need to create a trigger. And this trigger is going to tell uh, Google Tag Manager to fire this event when something specific occurs, okay? So let's go in here, we'll create a trigger. And the trigger for this one is going to be, um, let's call it, um, let's create a new trigger. And we're gonna call it um, 404 error. And it's gonna be on all elements, but just uh, actually page view and some page views in which the page title contains, I believe it was page not found. So when the page title contains page not found, just like we had here, it's going to fire this event that we just created or this tag that we just created. And that tag is gonna push an event into analytics that says a 404 error occurred Here's where it occurred, and here is the referring page, so you can fix a broken link if, if there is such a thing. Okay, so let's hit refresh on our preview pane real quick. I'm going to uh, also refresh this page. And we can see that in addition to our analytics page view tag firing and our AdWords remarketing tag firing, which we had in there originally, we've also got this 404 analytics error. So not only is it important to kind of test th things in uh, Tag Manager with the preview and debug mode, but I would also go right into uh, analytics. And within the real-time reporting, let me hit refresh on this, you can see that there's one person on the site right now. It's not that popular. But uh, th they're on this page, which looks a lot like the URL that I put in there. Now let's see if an event actually occurred. We should have an event in here. And there it is, 404. And the error occurred on this page. There's no refer because I didn't have a, I didn't navigate from one pa page to the next with a link. Um, so that's it. That's how you would want to create um, error page tracking events in analytics through Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or call or find me on Twitter. Have a good one.